I'm Leah and welcome to another episode of What the Heck Do I Know? If you like or get value from my videos and would like to see more of them, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If my videos aren't for you, but you know someone who would appreciate them, please feel free to share. Today I'm talking about goal setting. The act of goal setting usually takes care of the initiation stage and all or part of the planning stage for project management. In all of my goal related videos, we will start with a SMART goal. Why? Because it's the best goal setting standard that I know. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Now, sometimes people use different words for the acronym, but they all have similar meanings to the ones I just mentioned. When you take the time to put together a SMART goal, it helps give you focus and a starting point. Doing the research to find out how long something takes can also help you realize if maybe you're being a little too optimistic and need to give yourself more time. This can help you avoid failures with your goal and frustration with yourself for not being able to live up to an impossible timeline. It takes research or knowing something about the goal you have in mind in order to put together a SMART goal, but once you have it, you have completed the initiation phase and should have most of your planning phase complete. When you want to be successful with the goals you set for yourself, you naturally start with a desire or wish. But wanting something isn't enough. You have to decide that you're going to do this thing for yourself. Deciding also brings focus and dedication to what you're trying to achieve. The act of deciding to do something gets you thinking about how you're going to do it. And if you were to tell me, I want to lose 10 pounds, I don't consider that a goal. It's a thought or a want. However, if you told me I will lose 10 pounds by exercising a minimum of five days per week for 45 minutes, and reducing my calorie intake to no more than 1500 calories per day for 10 weeks. Well, that's a goal and a plan. All you need to do from there is start executing and tracking your progress. Smart goals fit very nicely into the project management process. So combining these two things can help get you where you want to be. Every smart goal can be considered a project because the definition, if you remember, of a project is an endeavor to reach a specific aim with a distinct beginning and ending. In this sense, the end of the project is when you achieve your goal. The other important part about deciding to do something other than just wanting it is that making a decision about something tends to get you motivated to do whatever activity it is that you need to do. If you need to sign up at a gym or download a language app or start buying healthier food, sign up for a class, create a budget, buy a plane ticket, make a schedule to find time to fit your goal into your schedule. Whatever that first physical step is for you and your goal, deciding that you're gonna do it is the first mental step. In the SMART goal example I gave above, we have a really easy way to execute and track our goal. The time to start executing is now, and building a chart or using an app to track calories and workouts is your monitoring and control. Review your progress weekly so you can see if and where you're slipping to get yourself back on track. For myself, I love the apps that are available for tracking my goals, but my real tracker is the magnetic whiteboard right on my fridge. I have weekly goal targets pre-written and I write in my actual progress every week so I can easily see when I've hit or missed my targets, not just in the current week, but from when I started. It's in a central location, so I see it often, and I have a visual representation of how far I have come and how far I still need to go. You should use whatever method works for you because what the heck do I know? And don't forget to celebrate at the end when you reach your goal. Again, thank you for watching, and if you find value in this, please hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Have a great and successful day.